What's going on everybody? I know you're probably here to see the black scat pack and everything. You know what? Fuck all that. It's not about that today. It is about the red Hellcat. That's right. My boy uh, D Frank, he's out the picture now. Red Hellcat taking over the Black Scat Pack channel. It's, 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 this is the official takeover. Right? Oh, Fuck you, man. I'm out the picture. Oh, what's going on, man? I man, what's, what, what's this you talking about? I'm out the picture. Man, did you come out of the trees or something? What, what? That, that, that ain't damn been who I, that, that ain't your been today. They been who I came from. Huh? What's this talk about? I'm out this picture and all that. No, so no I mean, you're out the picture for today. What you mean? Oh, I have the, I, yeah. I have the day. Yeah. So I ain't, I ain't good enough you're to out the, You're out the picture until I get to review your ride. Oh, okay. I thought it was a little more than that talking about. Um, never mind. Yeah, well, it's cool. What's up, man? What you never doing mind, here? Right, you, I got uh, back. To, got back from Texas. We on Mopar a couple days ago, man. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I I need to catch me a ride back to Texas. Really? Yeah. I heard it was where it's at. I saw the footage. I saw the uh, I saw the Instagram. So man, I I wish I could have made it, man. It looks like uh, it looks like you had a blast. Yeah. That's 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 an understatement, man. So let me let me ask you something, man. Uh -huh. you, um, you got a chance to check out um, a Charger, a Challenger Hellcat? Yes, sir. That, that, that's correct, man. I got to got to check out my boy Seaway Terrence's uh white 2016. I know in the video I said 20 what 15. I'm correcting that right now. It's 2016. Yeah. I got to check out his Challenger. It was a six speed. I know a lot of y'all probably laughing at how I was shifting. So I, I want to see y'all do better since y'all want to laugh, throw jokes. <laughs> but uh. Yeah, it was it was an experience, man. That that thing was fun, man. Even even with me stalling it out, uh, missing gears and. I tell you what, I tell you what, what we can do. How about I turn over the keys to you, uh -huh. so you can get a, a a perspective of the charger side once again. Hmm, charger side. I remember the last time I talked shit about a damn charger, and, and I end up liking one for some reason. Hey, the ultimate grocery getter. Yeah, I think that thing would. Have <laughs> I think that thing would have been a, a good, a better road trip partner than that challenger. I wouldn't have felt claustrophobic up in it. Mean, but uh, well, with that being still, said, still, sir, still a challenger game, by the way. With that being said, sir, you get these. Oh wow! Somebody actually trust me with red keys. Not the blacks. Not the blacks. That's that would be that would be a defamation of our friendship <laughs> if I gave you black keys. Man, that would mean I didn't trust you. So man, you are man, you are right with me. I don't care what the mother dudes say about you. Anybody else would have gave me black keys after no, saying what I done no, damn no. did lately? Man, what I'm walking around here and this side for? <laughs> man, what I'm walking around that side for? Let's get in and go. <laughs> All right, we up on the inside. Like I said in the Challenger Hellcat six speed review, you see on the SRT pages the list or a lot more in detail because you got your traction well you, you had traction on those only difference is you got your paddle shifters and transmission because it's the automatic and y'all you, already know charges only come in automatic and then we got his custom set up sport track the RC is in 700 horse mode. Nothing too much different. If you've seen one, you've seen them all just about. Alright, first thing first, once again, I'm going to inch the seat up just a little bit. Everybody know I'm a midget. <laughs> that shit ain't, that ain't meant to be funny. <laughs> Alright, let me, uh, 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 edit that out the tape. <laughs> nah, you're going to. <laughs> I was about to say what we needed to edit out was when I put it in drive, it had the reverse camera up there. For yeah, yeah I, I, I gotta turn that off because for some reason it, it sticks on the reverse camera um, for, right. for a while. So I gotta, I gotta turn that off. Yeah, we're gonna turn around this old cul de sac real quick. I mean, with the Charger, it's, it's got a few little small differences over the Challenger. Mainly, you know, all the Chargers, period, no matter Hellcat or whatever, they're all automatic. And you know, there's a few other things, like one of the bigger things is that the Chargers are a little bit more aerodynamic. They are more aerodynamic than the Challengers. 
those making those a little bit faster. I think they said the Charger tops out around 204. While the Hellcat, they, uh, the Challenger Hellcat, I should say, is around 199. I wish I could find. I wish I could find a way to test that to see if it's really true. But man can dream, right? Yeah. So yeah, we're out here in the middle of nowhere. The road's kind of curvy out here, so. It'd be kind of interesting. Right now we riding in, you know, default mode. Everything street, but we got the paddle shifter still on. It would have been in eco mode. You know, the paddles wouldn't work. And if it was in valet, man, it would be just like driving a brick, so. said it before man I'm driving my buddy Jason's uh Hellcat you might up know yeah he just he just we just he just straight chilling in the passenger seat man uh once again I don't know why he let me get his red keys trying man. to make sure you know if you, if you if you gonna let somebody go out with the red keys it's just as infamous as uh Mr. D Frank here you, you you gotta sit you gotta sit next door to make sure you know you don't clean your car out of just just all all everywhere Hey, I, hey, they, they did say, man, if you're going to do something, you need to do it right. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, of course, you, you, of course, if you're going, if you're going to have the red key and give it out to somebody, man, you might well be big brother to them, make sure they do it right. That, that, and if they, ain't, exactly. hey, and if they ain't doing it right, man, you just show gonna, them just, how it's done. you just going to show them how it's done. Yo, that's, that's an airstrip. Yeah. That's a little, that is a small, Must uh, be. grass airstrip. Yeah, that's pretty cool. that's some, I, I wish to pave that so yeah, we I could was about to say, if it was paved, I would love it. Oh my it. gosh, that would be insane. So somebody, somebody must own that property and just have like a private airfield on there. It has to be on that property. That's that's. Pretty. It's amazing the stuff that you find when you're just out here riding. It's probably one of the most curviest parts of this road. area. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Because uh. I don't have the, quite the feel for this charger like I would have my own car. In some of these curves, I was able to come around right around that 50. I was doing about 40 before I came into that one. And this would be a good place to open up your uh, performance pages just to see how many Gs you're pulling you're coming around some of these curves. You got a little bit of space. cars that you can usually uh put like a hundred you can you can give like 100 percent throttle like all the time it's, it's it's been very few times or very few occasions where i've, I've actually had the opportunity to just go and i can even like, say that throttle. and i can even say that in my 392 and you might as well say that this thing has the 392 has about a third less Spot detection. Yeah, yeah, I don't have that in my car, people. So, <laughs> you know, like right here, you can. They went line when they say that the automatics nowadays are a lot faster than the manuals because when I was up in Terrence's car, yeah, in the in the Challenger, even in default mode, when you got up in it. I didn't feel it in my gut. I felt it in my gut a little bit when I just gunned it in. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, I, I kind of wasn't expecting that, but at the same time, you, you better get his cars just uh, just do respect. Otherwise, man, it ain't going to end up too good. Yeah. Get back over here. Elementary school. Yeah. I probably, and I haven't been back here in so long. Say, man, 
this car definitely ain't for the weak of heart, man. You gotta, more or less, you gotta know what you're doing when you get up in it. Because it seems like, now I'm getting torn, torn again because when I was up in the other review, you know, I started to fall in love with that six speed because it's more of a challenge and once you master it, it's a lot more fun. But like right now, it's just right there. Only thing you got to master is learning when to get in the car and out the car and what you can really do with it. Yeah, just learning what to do, what you can't do, hot holes in the road. get addicted to that damn that supercharger going up like that oh my gosh you would be lying man uh yeah i, I love it man and then it's actually about to get even louder because um, i just ordered that beat with a uh the 2.0 velocity stack Woo. which is basically like Woo. imagine like the um little the uh inlet for like a throttle body but it's just gonna be stuck onto the end of the supercharger so you just got it smooths out the, it smooths out the air like coming into the to, to the supercharger, so there's nothing but turbulent air, and um, you know everybody knows with, with these cars, it's all about how efficient air in and out of the engine. Mm -hmm. but, um, exactly. Ooh, it was a dead snake in the road. Y'all know we out in the country when you see something like that. Oh yeah, oh yeah. But yeah, to me. But despite how big this car is. If you know what you're doing, it can still hold the road and it curves and everything pretty good. So, oh yeah, man, they, yeah, they did. They definitely did a good job with that. So, it's a big car, but the weight is uh, well managed. Yes, very well managed. Yes, and if you know the back roads that you're driving on, they can be your best friend. This car becomes a whole different animal when you put it in the track. Cause did you feel the steering? Yeah, you feel the steering. Yeah, feel, feel, feel the like the, the I love the the way the weight goes into the, the steering. Yeah, um, on track mode, it doesn't know. give you the most feel, but it does kind of. the 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 front end is gripping. You may not feel it, but you definitely feel like the uh, the steering like tighten up. Yes, because uh, even when I put the tires in the track mode in my yeah. car, it tightens up a lot. Yeah. And if you're going to do, you know, high speed pulls, to me, you're going to need, to me, I think you would want it tight because that'll give another, it'll be another chance, I would say, to pre prevent oversteering. And you already know the faster you go, the more likely track oversteering is just bounce back real quick and just go back to the default and you see we just just comfortably cruising right now and, and we already in eighth gear and you you can just barely hear the supercharger man it's it's very tame for what you know for if you just want to just cruise around just enjoy like a sunny drive like yeah. you're doing right now yeah it's very tame when you want it to be exactly very tame. this car is it has so many things that you know you can do with it it's uh, very versatile exactly because i mean yeah you can go from one minute cruising by 57 58 press the button Man, what's going on everybody? We at the 
we at the end of the Hellcat video and then some things that you know Jason and I was talking about off camera man we was mentioning like some of the subtle differences about you know the the Hellcat chargers you, you know I'll say I'll say what I noticed in the Hellcat chargers over the Challenger I drove was like even I even commented in the video that that Charger man when I got on the gas it was like I felt that in my stomach and even though I was only playing in default mode with the Challenger with the six speed it didn't feel nothing like that you know how they say you got butterflies in your stomach man when I hit the gas in that challenge, it felt like them butterflies was trying to get out your stomach. That's how crazy that felt. And we also made comments about like how the, you know, the, the rear gearing is a little bit different compared to like the SR, you know, the SRT 392, the scats and all that. And also we also, and I also mentioned another thing. I don't think I quite caught it on camera was I noticed that like the challenger, you know, the Hellcats, they still got the old hydraulic power steering. So even in street and default mode in that in, in, in the Hellcat, man, that steering on that was pretty tight. It kind of felt like how my track mode steering would feel with this, you know, with the electronic power steering that the, the you know, the three, three uh, I'm getting tongue out, 392 SRTs and on down has. And I found that, that that was interesting. That was a couple few, you know, little little minor differences. But honestly, man, it, it was just something so much more fun about it was in their own rights. That challenge was fun because it just puts the power down efficiently and we just get up and, and you know, it just goes. And like we'll say, well, we say it off camera that even though, you know, we was out there having fun you know, getting after it, it's easy to get up to speed in that thing. The biggest thing with a, with a car like that or any car, really, is if you're going to do something kind of wild, you better use uh, due regard and use common sense. Uh, you know, assess You know, assess the risk. Like, is it worth? Because you never know. If you can't, if if you're not used to that kind of power, man, something could happen. You can drive off the road, off the road, and either do your best Mustang impression or you know, you, you're going to have the undertaker visiting your your family and, you know, we don't we don't want that to happen around here. And it's getting dark up in this car. So that's all I can think of. Man, once again, thanks to my homeboy, Jason, for letting me. Man, we've been kicking it. We probably, I think we did our first collab. It's coming up on a year soon. Man, I can't thank that dude enough, man. Uh, Man, it, it, it's, it's been fun, man. If y'all haven't checked out his YouTube channel, man, uh, he, he's been doing, you know, small vlogs, like a little bit of behind the scenes of what me and my buddy uh, Dave D.4 have been doing with our, you know, with our vlogs and our, you know, videos. It seems like his take, some of some have been like some of the behind the scenes with that, but he he's very knowledgeable when it comes to cars and he, I was going to say he got some good driving skills too. So I'm going to have his information somewhere around. And go if you're not subscribed to either one of them, go subscribe to them. Hit the bell so you can be a, be a part of their notification squad too. Rock with the hey, rock with the crew, man. And this uh, this old D. Frank, I'm getting up out of his car because I'm starting to blend in because it's getting night. Y'all take it easy.